Dude, Magic Archer is not dead, boys. Magic Archer is not dead. So we got a game against Pixel Clash 25. There's a little bit of lag, but it's from the clan BS Rebels. So my hand is not very good to make the first play, but he's going to make me. So Lava Hound, bad matchup. Let's see what we can work. See what we can make happen. So I'm going to Dark Prince in case he's got barbs too. Oh, this is annoying. He was at the bridge. Hopefully it snipes the dragon immediately. Nice, it is hitting the dragon. That's clutch. Oh, I'm bad. That needed to... Okay, he's gonna. we're going to force out barbs out of him. That's nice. Oh, that is very nice. Fortunately, my Ewiz is in range, though. That would have been really helpful. I'm just going to Magic Archer here. If he goes in for anything, uh, Bandit to tank that, and then hopefully come back and help kill the Miner in just a minute. That was an overcommitment. So I'm going to go in with a Battle Ram. Hopefully should get some damage here, because he doesn't have a very good hand to defend this. He's going to Bar Barrel. That's probably the right play for him at the moment. Bandit's going to dash through the Tower Bolt. Oh, she's not even being targeted. All right, we're going to take his Tower because of the Magic Archer, maybe. Can you lock on Magic Archer? Okay, you can't. Never mind. I thought that magic archer was going to start locking onto the tower. That would have been nice. Definitely just going to poison that. We're two poisons away and a zap. I don't think I'm going to be able to defend this tower, though, unfortunately. So I could magic archer. I'm just going to zap that, too. So um, with the magic archer's range coming back, I can snipe that placement. It's got to be one higher for me to uh, snipe it, though. I'm just going to try and take that tower with the dark prince right here. The very minimum will force out something. Okay, we're gonna take it. So I'm actually gonna try and cycle to two magic archers here. If he miners that, we'll Pekka. He's just gonna poison it. All right. So yeah, we're not gonna be able to defend this tower, unfortunately. That was a nice Pekka because what it's gonna do is it's gonna force the E was out of the poison. Okay. Fortunately, that's a sacrificial Pekka. I can't really do anything with it. Just gonna cycle back to another magic archer. He's gonna play Lava Hound. Interesting Lava Hound. Got to say. So I'm gonna. Oh, he wasted his barbs? Okay. This is really good for me. So his barbs are not gonna do him much over there. Dark Prince is gonna go for that hut. Okay, I can't really do anything with that push now because everything is dead. He's gonna waste a bar barrel though. We're gonna protect. He doesn't have a poison at the moment. This is going to be a good counter push. So I'm going to Dark Prince all. He's going to give me. He's going to let my air troops hang on my side even longer. This is going to be a really nice counter push. It's going to be a crazy counter push. Oh no, but everything's in the poison now, unfortunately. I'm going to send down another Ewis though. Uh, Bandit, hello. What's going on with my game here? Okay, we're experiencing a lot of lag, but you know maybe maybe we'll still be able to pull through. All right, we're gonna get a connection there. That's a big connection. It's gonna poison. That's a big overcommit too. Peck of the bridge here. Unfortunately, my dark prince is now dead. He's gonna goblin hunt. Okay. Zap. She's going to dash to the tower. Pekka might get a smack. No, all right. Magic Archer at the bridge would be a big overcommit, and I would not be able to defend. I need to e was retarget. Poison that for sure. So this is going to be really close, but I think we're going to win, and we're going to persevere against in the face of a hard counter. And we have a big counter push. I don't think he can defend. I'm going to Magic Archer the bridge here. Zap. And Magic Archer is locked on. Oh my god, I'm lagging so hard. And we're going to take the win. Pop into this GC. And we're going up against Maddie from FB Esports. So we have Bandit in our starting hand. Oh, okay, he's going to go for wall breakers though. Magic Archer did not miss. Okay, he does miss. So we're going to take that hit, unfortunately. If I played him one tile, I think he would have 
bit of right. But that's not going to activate. You can't activate off a skeleton barrel like that, unfortunately, for my man, Matty. So I think I'm just going to poison that. Going to have to save Iwa's Zap or Dark Prince for his <laughs> wall breakers, which are going to be really annoying to deal with. So he's running three win conditions. Okay. This is obviously extremely interesting. Choice by my man. Alright, so I'm gonna zap that. So three win conditions, a hunter, a dark prince, rascals, and yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Oh, I'm lagging yet again. Ah oh, shit. Here we go again. Goodness gracious. He's trying to activate his king with my magic archer so badly. It's not going to work out. It's not going to work out, though. Magic archer is on tower. He's going to get some damage for us. This is why magic archer is still viable. All right, we're going to go dark prince up top to help start smacking those goblins away. This is a good counter push, but I'm not going to battle him. That'd be an overcommit. All right, what I am going to do is I'm going to zap that so that it's going to die. Now he's going to have to panic play. He's going to panic log. So we're nearing double elixir. So I think I can peck of the back here. I might e in hand next card if he decides he wants to punish. Alright, I'm just going to have to eat those. Definitely not the worst thing in the world. So if you magic archer right there, it's going to hit the two goblins in a line. See, look at that. That's beautiful. We're going to eat a lot of damage, but we're going to get a killer counter push here. It's going to rocket. That's a good rocket for him. Unfortunately for me. But I don't think he has much elixir left to defend this side. He's gonna zap, it's gonna target my bandit now. Pekka still has a lot of HP. That's gonna be a hit if he doesn't do anything else. Alright, I'm gonna bridge spam him out here. Uh I don't know what's happening because there's a little bit of lag there. This might be a two-tower game here, unfortunately. Zap, save my tower, and we're going to save the tower. We're going to get the win. Let's go, baby. That's a clutch game. Wait, yeah, he can't rock it in time. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Peace out, buddy. In a very wacky version of Pekka Bridge Spam with Dark Print and Magic Archer, which is a dead card, apparently. But I think he's pretty viable. I'm going to be testing him out. So Skeleton Barrel, I'm not going to play anything. I'm going to play my Ewa's actually on these bats. He's going to Minor. Oof. That's not good for him. We're going to just go in on my man. We're going to get the connection. That's nice. Bandit's going to dash? Is she going to... Oh, she's going to hit the tower too. Look at that damage. That is some crazy damage. I'm going to Magic Archer there. Magic Archer is going to help us clean up the bats. And then it's going to help clean up the miner. And then it's going to get some tower damage if he lets it go. So we are indeed... Looking good at this point in time. He's going to try and activate his king tower. That, boys, is how you activate with the skeleton barrel. So, that's not fun as a magic archer. Okay, he's going to... It's not fun, but, like, it's manageable. Because I already have so much damage on his tower. I'm going to bridge spam a little bit here, because his only answer is knight. I'm going to definitely e was that. That's going to help clean up his bats. The bandit is going to dash onto his tower, and we're within two poisons. Make that one poison and one zap. Make that just the zap. I mean poison because that does 56 damage. I don't know what to play here, actually, to be honest. Nice. He's going to get really aggressive. He's a little bit desperate, I think. This battle ram is actually going to be cool because it's going to push the miner out of the way. I'm going to zap, take a little bit of damage. That miner is going to lose a hit or two to my battle ram, and the battle ram is not going to connect and take his tower yet, but we are up a ton of elixir, so we can try and push for a second tower. I'm just going to eat those speed goblins. I don't want to make negative trades at this point in time. He's going to set up again. I'm just going to magic archer, honestly. He's going to poison. That's a baddie overcommit. He's going to take my tower, though. So if he bond towers, I'm going to take this poison. I feel like he's going to bat soon. He's going to do that. Spear goblins. 
It's going to lose two of those bats to the poison. That Ewiz can get one more hit. Okay. That was not good, actually. He defended well. Well played to Batman. All right, so I can peg the back again. He doesn't have good punish options at all. He's going to try, though. That's a good poison for him. He's going to take it. Yep. Smart of him. Or up a ton of elixir yet again. Try and, yep, yeah, we're going to catch his bats. Nice. I'm going to battle him in this lane, actually. We're going to defend his minor. He's going to cycle back to another bomb tower. Well played, my man. I don't think he's got any good answers in hand for that. He's got bats. All right, we're going to do this. He's going to have spear goblins, too. Wow, how is he defending? He's down so much elixir. Now I'm the one that's down. It's a really difficult matchup here in a one-to-one -one situation. We're going to catch his minor, though. It's going to be important. Magic Archer is dead, and so is my Bandit. But we can try and... Oh, I'm just going to have to poison that. So it is going to... I'm going to take a round of Skeleton Shots, but it should be all right. He's going to set up for another push. Okay, yeah, that might have been the overcommit that cost my man. Yeah, that might have been the overcommit that cost my man the game here. That log does not hit the Ewis, which is very nice. Now that we're in triple, we can cycle another Pekka onto his bomb tower here. Yeah, we're going to predict his bomb tower. That's clutch and a half. We're going to zap all of that crap. thought I saw a miner, but we didn't, and we're going to take this dub. That was a huge Pekka in the pocket there. And we're gonna Oh, we got a game. All right. So we're going up against Sylvanas from Sylvanas Legion. This guy is a really good player, so we'll see what we're going to play against. So I'm going to hover my P.E.K.K.A. because this guy normally plays Hog. If I can hover my P.E.K.K.A., oh, he's going to play his Goblin Hunt. I'm going to go Battle Ram opposite lane, actually. See what we can force out and maybe get some Poison Value. So he's just going to NATO it. So this looks like Graveyard. This is a really hard matchup. All right, so he doesn't have his NATO. I'm actually going to P.E.K.K.A. the back here. Oh, nice voice crack, Jax. We're going to peck in the back here. I'm up two or three. Single is the best time for me to try and get some good damage here. Oh, he's not playing Graveyard, or he's not playing Classic Fletcher. I'm going to actually... Okay. This peck is actually going to do work, so I can go in really aggressively here. He's got his Goblin Hunt, and he's got the Elixir 4. Okay. I'm going to band it for sure there. This might be really good for me here. It's definitely going to be really good for me. He's going to make my bandit redash. Nice damage, nice damage. And I think I'm up again, so we're just going to repeat that. This is such a weird deck. Is he going to go in for a Graveyard? No, he's cycling back to his Goblin. Okay. That makes more sense. Like, this guy wouldn't go in for a Graveyard, would he? Is he going to be held up, though? I can Magic Archer snipe, too. He would stay behind the P.E.K.K.A., please. Please? I think that did. I can Bridge Magic Archer and then Battle Ram in the opposite lane. That's going to be a connection. What is this deck? I'm still confused on what this guy's playing. I'm going to poison this lane. Iron right, a Magic Archer behind our king. Oh, he's going to stack his tower pretty much. We're within one poison of winning this GC, boys. Let's try and close it out. Ooh. Ooh, he was on he was on top. He was on top. He's got 19 seconds left. He's got he's gotta make a play. He's gonna XE the bridge. He's gonna XE NATO the bridge. Okay. We're gonna block the bridge. I'm just gonna band or magic archer. He's got no tank. And we're gonna collect our 12 wins, baby. We're gonna collect the 12 wins. We'll hit him with the 
Good game. And we're Magic Archer is not dead, boys. Magic Archer is not dead. Look at that. 12. Yes, sir. 12 wins.